Hey, hope you guys having a blessed day today. Um, today, I just want to speak on a topic of um, why the battle is so great um, when you're fighting demons. Why demons resist so much um, when you're, you know, when you're commanding them to leave and they want to fight you tooth and nail not to leave. Um, I want to uh, speak from Matthew, uh, Matthew 12. And um, let me see, Matthew 12 and 43, okay? It says, when an unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh dry places seeking rest and he findeth none. Then he say, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept and garnished. Okay. So listening back to this right here, the first thing I want to say is that an unclean spirit, the Bible says that they you're their home, okay? When an unclean spirit is using you as a home, as a resting place, think about this. When you go to sleep at night, you rest in your bed. You sleep. That's your comfort. If you're homeless, Usually you won't get much rest because you're either outside or you're roaming around. Okay, I've been homeless, so I know. But you basically, they're using you as a home, as a resting place. So when you come and tell this demon that's probably been in you since birth or for 10 years that it has to leave and vacate, this demon is going to be very upset. This demon cannot go to a stop sign and sit there. This demon cannot put a mattress outside and lay there and relax. This demon only source of rest is your temple, your body. Okay. So when demons are roaming around, they're looking for somebody to possess. And in order for them to eat, you have to, you have to commit sin. They feed off of your sin off of blood. They don't eat mcdonald's and burger king like we do they need us to actually feed them just like when you go home usually that's where your food is you don't usually carry around food in your car or truck you carry your, your food is at your home you rest at your home that listen to what this verse listen to what it says when the unclean spirit is going out of a man he walketh through dry places seeking rest okay and he findeth none then he said, I will return to my house. So he's got nerve. He's telling you that he's telling you that this is his house. That's what that's what the demon says. The demon says, I will go back into my house. So they're claiming you. OK, which is arrogance. But anyway, and then it says he finding it empty and swept and garnished. OK, so let me let me touch on this. When an unclean spirits come back to a home and find it empty, swept, and garnished, this means that the unclean spirit finds it clean because you have cleaned yourself up. You have cleaned yourself up. You are reading your Bible. You're fasting. You're staying away from sin. You're living a lifestyle of righteousness through Jesus Christ. That's what this means. Okay? Then... Well, I don't want to go on that part. I just want to kind of touch on this because that's a whole nother topic. The next verse is a whole nother topic. But in order for you to, you know what? No, we are going to go there. We're going to go there. Okay. Let me read verse 45. It says, then now keep in mind, this is after he's found the house cleaned and swept, right? Because he, so now he can't re-enter. But listen to this. It says, then he go and taketh himself seven more other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter him and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Okay. So this is another point. When you get deliverance and the Lord delivers you, you must keep your home swept and clean and garnished. This means you read your word. Okay. You're fasting. You're living a righteous life. You're not committing adultery. You're not fornicating. You're not doing drugs. Okay. You're not doing any of these things that's going to be unpleasing to God. Because if you do, 
they're going to re-enter with seven more demons. Remember, the number seven means completion. So they're going to get a complete team of demons and re-enter you. And you're going to be worse than what you was before. This is the point where you see stuff moving in your house that you didn't move. This is the point where you see shadows. This is the point where they're doing things to scare you, to give put fear in your heart. Okay? So, remember, this, the reason why your fight is so great is because you're their resting place. Okay? The second thing I want to say is, when you remove them from the resting place, you need to make sure that you're grounded in the word. You're grounded in fasting. You're grounded in praying. You're grounded in helping others. Okay? This is, this is how you come up in the, in the spiritual realm. This is how you get more power in the spiritual realm. That's a whole other topic too. But that's how it's done. You keep seeking the Lord because otherwise they will re-enter. So you have to keep your deliverance. Once you get delivered, the work starts. Once you get the deliverance, that's when you continue. And then you continue to live and abide in Jesus Christ. So anyway, I hope you guys learned something from this video. Um, hope you guys have a blessed day.